Hi, my name is Artur Szustakowski and in this tutorial I wanted to show you how I add 3D people to my projects. For my recent project I used models and animations from the Actor Core website, which you can see here on the screen. When you go to this website you can see that there are two tabs available, Actor and Motion. When you click on the Actor tab, you can see that there are many models to choose from. The models have their own categories, like for example this sportswear category, that you can see right here. If you're having trouble to find what you're looking for, you can always use a search bar on the top of the website. Let's go to the Motion tab, where you can find some animations for your models. Motions and actors can be combined together to create a preview on the website, which I will show you next. To find a right model for my project, I go to the Actor tab and I choose the Casual category. I think this casual male model will be perfect. Now, when I click on the model, a new window pops out and you can see a preview of the model. In this new window, we have some options to move around the model and rotate the camera to check if the model is right for our project. Let's go to the Motion tab to look for a nice animation for our model. At the Motion tab, we have a wide variety of animations to choose from. There are also some categories to help us find what we need. For a architectural visualization, we're gonna need a typical walk animation. For that, we can go to the daily life category, then choose the outdoor activity, and there you can find a walk slow motion. When you click on the motion, the preview updates with a new animation and combines it together with our model. If you're happy with the result, you can add it to cart, go to the checkout and then download the model to the iClone software, which I'll show you next. So this is the iClone software. On the left you can see a content tab and you will find there your downloaded model. If your model hasn't loaded up yet, you can click on the refresh button and it should appear here in the content tab. Now if we want to use our model, we can simply drag and drop it to the center. Our model has loaded up, so now we can look for the motion. Let's just type walk slow into the search bar and see what we can find. I couldn't find our animation in the purchase category, but it appeared when I clicked all. You can see that there are some subtypes for this animation, like female, male, start, loop and end animation. For now, we're just gonna use the loop animation and to use it, we can drag and drop it on our model. Now our animation has loaded up and you can see on the timeline that it takes 150 frames. We can move the bar on the timeline to see how the animation plays out. You can also press spacebar to play out all animation. Now I'll show you a nice trick to personalize animation in your model. For example, we would want our model to turn his head into the right at the desired moment in our animation. Now let's go to the Modify tab and click on the animation icon. Next click on the Edit Motion layer and a new window pops out. In the Edit Motion layer window we can select each body part that we would want to modify. For now let's select Head and you can see that the gizmo appears on the model. 
It is a move gizmo, but we want to rotate the head, so let's select Rotate in the main toolbar of the icon. Now, by clicking on the desired direction, we can rotate the head, but let's just leave it as it is for a moment. As an example, we would want our head to turn at the 40th frame, so at the timeline, let's move the bar to the 40th frame and rotate the head to the right angle. Next, let's go to the 70 frame and rotate the head back to its original position. Now, we can close the Edit Motion Layer window and if we play our animation, you can see that the head turn has saved into our animation. Our next step is to export the model into our desired software. Let's go to the file, export and then export FBX. For the target tool I will choose Blender because it is my main software and for the FPS I will go with 24. For the export range I will choose all because I want all frames within the animation to save into the model. Now I'm going to add the character into Blender and for that I'm going to use the Auto Setup add-on from Actor Core. Let's go to the Actor Core website and scroll down until we see the multi-platform support panel. Let's click on Learn More and here we choose Blender and under the Auto Setup for Blender we click Download. It takes us to the Character Creator page and here, if we click download, we get the add-on file. To install the add-on in Blender, let's go to the Edit, then Preferences, make sure to select the add-ons, click Install, search for the file we just downloaded, and click on Install add-on. It will install in a few moments. And here we can select the add-on to enable it and then choose Save Preferences. We can close this window. Now if we press N we can see that the add-on has installed correctly. For now let's select all objects in our scene by pressing A and then delete them by pressing X. To load the character let's click on Import Character button and select our model that we downloaded from the Actor Core website. It takes a little while and here it is. If you go to the textured view we can see that the model has loaded with some textures. If we go to the timeline and select the model, we can see that there are a lot of keyframes, so our animation has also loaded up. We can play around with the model, or we can press the spacebar to see how our animation plays out. And to conclude the tutorial, I wanted to show a footage from my animation project where I added our model to the scene. With this workflow, I encourage you to experiment and add as many characters as you like to your scenes. It's pretty fun! And there you go, that's all! I will leave you now with a recent animation I made. Thanks for watching and until next time.